What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Magic World 2. We're here with Josh, as usual. And uh, what we're going to do in this episode... Uh, we're muted, so he can't hear me. <laughs> no, but what we're going to do in this episode is we... We, my friends, we are going to delve into Thomcraft. Yes! This is actually the mod that I'm probably most excited for. But, uh... That and, uh... Ars Magica, but definitely, definitely Thomcraft. I've looked a little bit into it, not 100% sure, but we will get the Thomonomicon, which is what we're going to make. He, Josh, already has one, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to start from the beginning, how to make one, and we'll literally go from there. So let me unmute myself here, and yeah, intro done. Okay, so we're doing Thomcraft today, and, uh... You have the book, but I, I have do. to make one. Yep. So, basically, what we have to do, we have to start off with what is called the Iron Capped Wand. It's very simple to make. It's two Iron Caps and a stick, and for some odd reason, you can put a helmet in there. I've never understood that. But, uh, you basically <laughs> just get five Iron Ingots. That's, er, well, ten. Nuggets. Nuggets. <laughs> I said Ingots, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, you That's gotta to make get the helmet nuggets. To make the cap. So, you just make two caps. And then you put the caps like Actually, that. Do that too. And then you do that. And there you go. You get your iron capped wooden wand. And that is basically how you start. Now, we just need a bookshelf. Do you have any leftover nuggets so I don't waste any? Um, I have eight. Sweet. Yep. So, I still have to make one. Yep. Still have to make one. Aha. Uh, and then the next thing to get the Thamanomicon, if if you have not already gotten it in a random dungeon or whatever, this is how you actually make this. Josh was able to get one uh, wherever. I think you got it in the ore mound, did you say? I think it was the, yeah, in the Twilight yeah. Forest in one of the ore mounds. Okay. So lucky me. Uh, we need a bookshelf. Do we not have bookshelves? I thought we had spare bookshelves. Apparently we don't have spare bookshelves. Do we have any books? Yeah. Uh, okay, so basically you just put the book... Anywhere, right click, and there you go. Wonderful sound. Thamanamakan. And this book is what you're really going to need. This book will tell you everything you need to know about uh, Thomcraft. And this is kind of the interface. I know it looks a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry. It's not not too bad. It's got all these different uh, there sections. There is a lot of stuff. Yes, there is a lot of stuff. But uh, we will get to it. Slowly but surely, one step at a time. But uh, right here, right in the middle on the first page, you'll see aspects of magic. Um, so basically you have six aspects. There's air, there's terra, there's ignis, there's agua, and perditio. How many did I say there was? That's five. Six. No, there is six. Did I miss one? It's no. earth, wind, water, earth, fire, fire, air, water, and perdido, whatever that is. Entropy. No, okay, I was right. Uh, so then you have compound aspects, which are built from two other aspects. The simplest compound aspects are made from two primal aspects, but it is possible to have incredibly complex compound aspects made from successive layers of simpler aspects. Um, the simplest example of such a compound is the aspect of Victus, which is life, which is a combination of Terra and Agua. So they already give you, they already tell you how to make one of them. Now, whenever you start... Thomcraft, as soon as you spawn into the world, it automatically gives you a little bit. And uh, so, like this one, air, you have 15, agua, you have 16, ignis, ordo, and so on. Uh, so, permutatia already gives you one. This is modus plus agua, um, which I think that one, I don't know how I got that one. But anyway, um, so basically. Wait, did you see that? You already had a compound? Yeah, for some other reason, I already have a compound. I, don't I know, do not. Don't know how. Uh, have no anyway, clue. No clue. But, we'll get uh, to it eventually. Yeah, we'll get there. We need to make a thermometer. We need to make a research table. And one other. No, that's, that's basically it just to start off. So we need to make a thermometer, and we need to make a research table. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the research table is just player. Or, like, if we both can be on it and we'd have two different interfaces. That I don't actually know. Hopefully that's the case. 
That way we can find save out. a little bit of resource. But the thermometer, we probably both would want to have it. Because we don't share uh, yeah. the V's. I don't think. I don't think we do. So, so what so we're we going to need to do... Two gold, glass, and what else was it? Uh, any two shards. So we need four gold, we need four shards, and we need... Uh, yeah, there's any kind of there's your glass. gold. Shards are upstairs. Yeah. But you need two of them, and you place them side by side, and that makes the inscription or not the inscription table, the uh, the research table. Research table, yeah, that one. Okay, I got it. Okay. I was thinking the arcane work table, but that's further down the road. Yeah, that's further down the road. Okay, so there are a few things that we could probably scan. No, not the not going up. We probably can't, unless the torch bugs got something. Firefly, no. Okay. That works. Yep. Uh, the inscribing tool? Totally forgot about that. Kind of need the inscribing oh, tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it just a glass bottle, black ink, or some kind of black dye and feather? Yes. So, glass file, which is clay, and then three glass, and you get eight. So, we might as well go ahead and get that. Uh, but okay. So, I do know that coal is an item that we can scan. Now, you can scan the ore as well, and the item that you drop. Let's just say the so there we go. Now, inventory slots. Right there, I believe, is Ignis, and I don't remember what the fish-looking one is. But you'll see at the bottom right, it actually tells you uh, Potentia. Yeah, I know there's something um, with a P. So once you scan this item, now you'll notice, if I throw it back down, you'll notice it will already tell me that I've already gathered this. I, can, I cannot scan coal again. Now, I believe I can scan coal ore, and it will give me more. But as far as that, that has been... Where did I just take this from? There we go. That has been scanned. Now, at the top right, all the symbols kind of went up there. So that kind of just lets you know. It's a nice little cool animation that uh, you have gathered have some clay. in your thumb. Uh, it's down in the... Down in the Earth's oh, Magica, okay. I believe. Alright. Now, at the top left, you will notice the little diagram. That actually shows the six um, major aspects, so those can be filled, and that's your wand. You can fill your wand with these aspects, and what you're going to need that for is if you use, um, uh, you fill it with aura nodes, which we actually have to find aura nodes, but you can actually f use the thermometer, and also you can use what is called the goggles. I don't, goggles of revealing, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Um. And you can find the aura nodes, and you you scan the aura node, and then you can also absorb the the vis, the aspects that are in it, and it will tell you how much aspect there is into the wand. Now, if you hold shift, it will actually tell you how much uh, is in for each of the each of the six of them. At the moment, when you first start, you have zero, but you basically have to find aura nodes to fill them. Um, now, if you let the aura nodes empty basically they can disappear or you can disrupt them or whatever um, so the good thing to do is to make sure you don't and that could be either one most auras have at least two if one runs out they can disappear and then you have to find another one so a uh, good thing is to make sure that you keep at least one of each viz in there all right so there we go there's the research table where are you at are you at? I'm doing research. <laughs> oh. No, I'm coming down. You're coming down? I mean coming up? You coming up? Wherever you're at. Okay. So this right here... Whoops. I don't know how that got in my head. This right here, this is the interface with this texture pack. It'll look different if you're default, but it's it works the same. Uh, this right here will be your research notes. And this right here will have all your Vs. Vise, however you want to pronounce it, I will eventually pronounce it correctly. Uh, it matters. And how much of each... V-I-S, whatever. V -I -S, it's, yeah. it's basically the charge, magical charge of thumb, uh, of Thumbcraft. Yeah. But this is where all your aspects will be, right here. Uh, as, as you grow them and you get more, there'll be a little slider here to where you slide. Right here, you'll see where you can actually put two of each, or one of each, and that is actually how you come up and create um, other ones. Uh, let me, if I could remember correctly, I believe it's 
air and ordo. Nope, okay. It's not air and ordo. Now, if you saw there, it actually used up one of each. So this is where you kind of want to watch out when you actually start spending it because you That's do That's why they give you it. so many of the most basic, of the six main uh, yeah. components. That way you can kind of play around with it and try to discover new stuff. Yeah, I don't. But you, like, say you run out. So you're trying to do a bunch of combinations, and you run out. You'll either have to go research stuff to get a few points here and there, or research a uh, or a node that happens to have that charge in it to get those points back. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Did this one? I think I don't know. I don't know any other ways of to get this is research Terra points. And Agua. So if you do Terra, which I think I have one of those and agua and you hit this little button there you go victus now once you discover a new one by doing it this way you automatically it starts out and gives you three of them so once you do that you just knock those out so there we go we have created right. victus now, i'm gonna try one. Oh wait where's my research notes as i said uh i'll put that there for now so right here research expertise i don't think we really want to do that one right off the bat uh, I mean, you can make the research note, that's fine. It doesn't cost anything to make the research note. But kind of just looking here, what do we want to kind of start out with? Um, there's one foci. There's to make better wands, so you have the gold hey. wand cap. Or you can make it out of uh, great wood. Um, I made Lux. So all these, Nitor, Alimentum, uh, Magic Tallow. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. Um, this is one of the items that I was talking about, the goggles of revealing. So let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, I know I don't have what I need there, but just to show you guys. So basically that goes there. At the moment, this is the this is the crafting interface. So basically if all three of these were lit up, I don't have these aspects. I, don't, I haven't discovered them yet. So uh, that's why they have a question mark. But basically what you have to do is you have to connect all three of them with the aspects. So basically, the aspects that you connect them with have to be used um, to create that, if I remember like right. Like, they have to relate to one they another, They have right? to relate to one another. Like, you can't take, like, it. fire connected to water, obviously. Like, think about it, like, it's all it kind of like common sense in this little mini game, where you can't combine elements that obviously in the real world wouldn't go together. Right. Now, do we have different interfaces? Like when you uh, click on this, I'm, do you no, see I'm looking my at note? yours. Like I see my like I've got uh, Vitreus and Lux. Like I have the elements that I've unlocked, but I see your research notes for goggles of revealing. I didn't even know you did that until uh, you said it. Oh, okay. okay, now it's gone. But so I saw the paper up in there, and I saw share, the uh, interface. Or we share. Yeah. The, as far as like the research notes in there. Now, but we don't if we're share. both using it, like say when you I made uh I made Lux when you made um. What was the the one you made? I made Victus, which that Victus. was yeah. given automatically in the. Okay. Uh, how did you do that? Now, do you know how to make Lux? I already have Lux. Light? Okay, I, I did not. How torch. did you make Victus? Was that Earth and Water? Uh, it's Terra and Water. Okay. Now you also have to put it. If I remember right, you have to put it in the correct order. Also. Oh well, I did. Uh, okay, well I did I Water first, and it gave it gave me Victus. Okay, let me. I don't know. I'd re Let me look at that. I'm glad you before. said something, though. I think you have to put it in order. Uh, no. You said you did water first? Yeah. Okay, then no, you don't. Never mind. I thought okay. you did, but maybe that was an older and version. And I have, I have the little sh on my... I'm looking at the interface. I have the little glimmer on Ordo. What does that mean? I didn't see it in the Thumbonomicon. I'm not actually 100% sure what that means. Like it's It's like when you have something new in the book and it shows that. I don't know if it'll... Right, like mine's on Ordo also, so I'm not actually 100 percent sure what that. Like nothing means. on Ordo shows up in the book, though. Yeah, no. Maybe that means that uh, I've found something that can be used with it. Possibly. Um, okay, so, like, maybe I'm also going to research right. one foci. This one, I'm not sure. Okay, so we already have one. So there's that you can see. I wish there was. I don't want to waste resources or my aspects at the moment. But if I was to place, like, Victus right here, and it didn't match with Ignis, it will actually be grayed out. Like, it will just... You'll still see it, but it'll be, like, in a gray instead of the actual color. 
and it'll be blacked out and there won't be a there'll be a little line that goes across so you'll know that they match but once you once you put it on the interface if you take it off it uses it so that's where you got to really be careful and honestly there's no way unless you've looked it up on like a wiki or you've played this before like if it's your first time going into this uh <coughs> that's kind of what this is it's like a magic meets science mod so you kind of have to experiment and play around yeah. with it and so that's really, where you have to kind of be careful because you don't want to blow all of your research points and yeah, all of you your elemental points right off the and bat. then have to go out and explore all the way to the ends of the earth to yep. just to find a few more you're uh, gonna want of to that explore, one element And you're going to want to get a lot of your aspects before you start doing all the research. <laughs> just go out and just start researching stuff. And again, like I said, down at the bottom right, it will tell you whether or not uh, you can research it. It will tell you. It will tell you if it's researchable or not. If you get the aspects from it, then you, you've researched it. It'll tell you you don't have the knowledge for it. That means it can be, but you can't research it right now. And then, where's my thermometer? Or my thermometer? Can I search this now? No, okay, that still can't be searched. So that's basically what we're gonna do now. I was talking about aura nodes. And we're lucky enough to where we actually have an aura node by our house. Yeah. Luckily. Um, I think it's still here. Let's see. I don't, I don't think we destroyed it. I don't think we did. Um, I'm trying to remember where it was. We might have destroyed it by accident because we didn't know what it was at the time. I think we tried to destroy one and we found out that we could, but I don't know if it was this one or not. Uh, no, that was back by the other, the old house. You'd actually, you, if you hold your thermometer. It'll actually light up once you get close. Yeah, you can see really far away so too. You can, actually... you can even see it through walls and everything. Yeah. I'm not... So this is what this is what most of the video, most of our screens are gonna look like. Is just us walking around with this giant <laughs> yeah. stop sign. Basically, uh, it's. I mean, like I said, this is really how you kind of start out. This is how you really have to do it. Uh, yeah. Liquid Ender now. So limestone, you can get that. Uh, already so did you stone. Scan water. Yeah, you can get some quick points. Yeah, you can do water. I know you can do gravel. Uh, you can do the infused stones. If you see any of the infused stones, get that because you actually get quite a bit. From oh, the like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can do like all the different types of uh, almost any of the geostrata um, mods where it adds all the different kinds of, like shale and stuff like that. You can get mm -hmm. those too. Uh, already torch uh, basalt. You can get that. Um, the crystals, I know you can't do right now, but once you can start doing the crystals, they give you a crap ton of stuff. Like, they give you a lot. A, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Nothing can, be, nothing can be learned from Liquid Ender, except no. don't jump into it. Yeah. What about pigs? Can I research uh, bacon? Animal, you can eventually, but at, right off the bat, no. you can't research, like, animals, stuff like that. Try to research you. Oh, hey, I found an ore node. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. That might have been the one that we saw, and we just didn't go far enough. Nearly invisible if you don't have to. Yeah, up. I'm coming. Oh, boy. This is this where we kind of have to be though. careful, because the aura node doesn't share. Like, if you suck so much of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the wands. Out, mm -hmm. then... It doesn't know. It doesn't discriminate from person to person. It's like, I'll give some to you and some to you, and then I'm out. Yep. Hold on, I'm gonna get this sand block it's so that we can scan it. Does the color determine? I think it does. It will determine. Like I know there's three. There's there's regular aura nodes. There's bright and dim. Which bright tend to uh, fill up your wand. Bright ones fill up your wand faster, and dark and dim ones or dark whatever it's called fill up uh, fill up the wand slower. You can go ahead and scan these two items that I threw on the ground. All right, I've already done sand. Okay. Done clay. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I think you can do wool. I think. Maybe not. No, we'll even no. do it yet. Okay. Now we're... Oh, there it is. Right here under okay. the tree. So you just so want to do... scan it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's telling me that I don't... Under... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that just gave me a hundred and. Oh, it's because I'm scanning you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't scan me yet. Yeah, 109 so... uh, chaos or whatever it was called. Yeah. Now the ones, the, the iron capped, I believe, only holds 25. So we can actually both yeah. get what we need from this. So you just right-click it. Uh, just aim at it and hold the right click yeah. until you see your little jar or a little vial the on the left side. Fill, fill up. And it will stop and whenever it, it should fills say up. how much is left. Yeah. yeah so will... this is, like, it even shows what kind of aura note it is. So this is a normal, yeah. um, what is the element called? I don't remember. 
That is Perdicio. Uh, per, yeah, per, Perdido, 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 whatever. Perdido, something yeah, like that. The chaos one, the evil one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this All is right. basically what we're going to have to be doing. We're going to have to go around, and we're going to have to scan a whole bunch of things and just see if we can get as much material or get as much aspects as we can and then we'll probably uh do a few research i'll probably cut and edit here until we get a whole bunch of stuff that we can scan and and then we'll do a few research points so we will see you guys in just a second all right guys we are back we spent a little bit time getting a whole bunch of aspects and uh, i think we're kind of ready to uh start on this as you can see i got quite a bit now we both got quite a bit um now obviously we're we're gonna need a lot more we haven't even i believe there's 64 aspects in total but we're gonna do an easy one because i actually know this one this is the wand foci so basically what the foci is is you're able to put these um kind of like i don't know jewels on the front of your wands and they're able to do different kinds of things um, and this is what kind of unlocks to where you can do multiple ones, but I already remembered this one So basically how you do it you has you have this little mini game basically so you have to connect uh, These two different Aspects together and the way you do it is you got to make it to where they all kind of link together like I Can't put like modus with Ignis because their modus doesn't go into Ignis, but potentia does so you can put potentia there and uh Next, uh, actually, you can put. This is a good way to look at this one. You can put potentia into both of these. So, and there's the little line that you can tell that they've actually connected. Now, what goes into potentia? Obviously, you could do precontatio. There's multiple ways of doing it. I do. I don't think there's just one set way, but you could do pro uh, procanti. However, you pronounce that. <laughs> I had it a second ago. But since I have 50 of that and 66 of Ignis, I'm just going to go ahead and use another Ignis. And once it's done and they're both, they're all connected now, like I said, I've seen up to six. I think there's one that's bigger than that. But once you have them all connected, you'll make the discovery. There we go. We got the one foci. And then I just research it. Research complete. And then when you look in your Thamanomicon, you will see then there it will give you everything that you need to know. We need to make a research table. Or an arcane workbench, sorry. We already have a research table. Um, and that's how we get the wand focus. Uh, so we need to make an arcane work table. And which is just a table and then our wand. So do we have any wood up here? No. No. No, we do not have wood. Go get wood. I'm on it. Go get wood. Go get wood. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, okay. So now or that we, we can just that break one. this workbench that's here at the enchantment table that does nothing. Do I know? There's just a lowly, lonely workbench hanging out near the enchantment area that we've never used before. But I'm already down here, so never mind. I will make a new one. Just make a new one. Well, you have to make a table anyway. What are you talking about? Not a crafting table. We need to make a table. The three slabs and the two planks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I didn't. I did not scan zombie brains. I think I can scan zombie brains. Nope. Okay. Well, I lied. Nope. Wonder, can I scan the wand just for walls? No. Okay. We just need one, right? Yeah, we just need one. Okay. Just need one. Okay. So basically, so we got one of the research down, and then you can read all this whenever you. I'm not. I'm not going to read all that. Some careful experimentation has shown you a way to expand the abilities of even the most basic wand. So we need four fire shards, we need nether quartz, and we need a fire charge. Do we have a fire? We have two fire charges, right? I think we have two, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well bring the nether I'll and the fire that. charges. I think we have fire shards up here, right? For the level yeah. Please. Yep, we have eight. <laughs> we have exactly oh how many we need. So just put the Yay. table down. And then you put your little magical wand on. You will get this interface. So it kind of looks like a crafting table. It's a 3x3. Three three. But uh, here, but whenever you match. make these, you actually have to use some of your aspects. So the iron-capped wooden wand, you, get, you can fill of 25 of all six of the primal. But it uses up 110% of it. So each wand, I think there's 
four. There, there's a few different ones, but each one has a different m amount of cost. Obviously, the iron capped is the weakest, so that's going to use the most of the uh, aspects. So, if I remember right, what did it say? Oh, it used 20 and 10, so. I mean, it's going to be 11 use... and 22. Yeah, 11 and 22 to make a focus. So, obviously, we're going to need to look into the. What you got? You got any other quartz? Yeah, I just brought up a few stacks. Okay. I'll just give you one and give you those and then put the rest of them in here. Okay. And then we need fire charge. I gave you those. Okay. Or fire shards, sorry. Oh. Uh, let okay. me give you that. Okay. That. And you have some nether quartz, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I can remember right, it's that. That. And that. And there we go. We have the one focus. And it takes 22 Ignis and 11 Perdatio. Yeah. And that's straight from the wand, right? That's yes, not that from, takes from like the our wand. research points? Right. Okay. Takes from the wand. So now, as you can see, that went down. My Ignis is almost gone. But... What you can do now is you have to right click. I don't remember how to put the wand focus. I don't remember how to put it on there. Give me just a second. It's one of these buttons. It's one of these buttons. Do I have to shift click? Why can't uh, I? F? No, it's not F. Ah, F. There we go. Why can't you? It won't, it won't give me my focus. Oh, okay, I shift clicked it and it worked. Like, it won't let me click and drag. Uh, that's weird. Okay, so to put, the, to put the focus on, you have to shift and hold. Okay, shift and hold F takes it off. Hold F and you should get a little dial. And that puts it on. Oh, cool. And you just click on it. Yep. And then. <sighs> gonna burn the tree. And that uses from your wand. So. Which we have none of anymore. Yeah, I just used it all. But there we go. That is one of the research of many. Remember your wand's on the table. Don't forget. Oh, what? Um, well, your wand was on the table. What the crap? Oh, I got it. I'm going to go burn something. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, it just it kind of just disappeared. I don't remember where which aura node did we get the Ignis from. Uh, I don't remember. There was an air and fire one. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I've got it waypointed. If you oh, want to just follow me. I almost, I almost died. Oh, was it that one that was over there? It was the one, yeah, near that big flat open area that we've cleared out. Oh, Towards okay, okay. the, uh... Yeah, I'm coming. The, I'm there's coming. like a little cliff. So I can recharge. Now, I'm pretty should sure just... it will know, because I know you got to right-click to use the wand, but... Um... It will know when you're on the ore node, so that you can just yeah. absorb it. Okay, so I definitely want to... And it's got 36 left, so you should be fine. Okay. And then... <sighs> Go burn one of the wanderers or something. call on fire with our wands. Now we are wizards. Yeah! Burn the wanderer. Burn him. Hit him with magic. Ha! Huh. Oh, uh, yes. There we go. All right, guys. There we go. That is the first research that we have. Obviously, we're going to do a, we're gonna do all of them, which takes a lot. It's going to take a while to get through them, and it will take us a while. Luckily, I remember the, uh, the actual recipe for that one. That one was easy. There are a lot harder ones. Trust me. They get really complicated, and uh, but we will get through them all. Probably going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, as always, hit that subscribe button and slap that like button. Guys, it really, really does help out my channel. And we are almost... Oh, that is really cool. Fire! <laughs> it looks like you almost hold it with two hands, too. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that looks really funny. fast enough if I can write my name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching greatly appreciate it we are almost to 1000 subscribers guys so close so close let's see if we can get to it guys and uh hopefully you have a good day and anything else to add josh for you for you for you for you all right guys see ya.